is great. Let me. Thank you very much. You're going to irritate the people at home. Stop now. Let me introduce you to those people over there. Those are people who think we may see the Super Bowl before we see the World Series this year. That's what people are. People in the know. And I'll introduce you to this group over here. This is my posse. And tonight, yeah, give it up for my posse. Yeah. And tonight, they're joined by two of the most innovative brothers in the business. Uh, you probably recognize that look from a Janet Jackson video of the past. Yeah. You might know them if you're from Minneapolis. Is that right? Am I, is that right? Am I saying that right? I always feel like I'm going to say that word wrong, you know? I should say nap. Yeah. These gentlemen, uh, we first saw them in a movie called Purple Rain. They were with a group called The Time. They become major producers in the world of music, master of minds behind Human League, Janet Jackson, New Edition, you name it. That's Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis. Yes. 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 <laughs> or should I say yes? <laughs> I heard that. My name is Arsenio Hall, the Deborah Norville of talk show hosts. And uh, I'm happy to be here. I had a good weekend. Not much in the news this morning. Maybe we should talk about the weekend. <laughs> uh, I watch football a lot. Did you see uh, Saturday? You don't like football. I see you already using it. You don't like football? Huh? This is an interesting story. Uh, there was a game between Houston and SMU. And the final score was 95-21. Anybody see this game? 95-21 at the half, the score was 59-14, I think. Or 18, something like 59, 18 or 14. Now, what does a coach say? What could the SMU coach say at halftime to him? Uh, well, <laughs> damn. Uh... <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> We're all men. Uh, I believe in you. Let's try to keep them under 200. <laughs> what can you say to them, you know? Did you guys see the game? You see that game? Who? Boy. <laughs> what do you tell your players? You know, I, I think maybe your eyes are closed. Uh, keep your eyes open, maybe. It's terrible. By the time the game was over, the referees looked like aerobics instructors, you know? They, were like... <laughs> they kept doing that, you know? It's terrible. <laughs> this is a football game or a Jane Fonda workout. Ah, some lawyer in Oregon, uh, this is an interesting article in the paper, he has a new drive through divorce window. So you can get a divorce. Just like at Wendy's, you just drive through. I think that, I hope the speakers are better than the ones at Wendy's, though. So you at least understand what you're going through. Uh, let me see if I got your order straight. Uh, you want the furniture, the savings account, the vacation home. Would you like alimony with that, please? It could be real weird, because I hate to go to Wendy's. I don't understand what the lady's saying. I just say, yes, that's fine. <laughs> For you uh, sports fan, there's fans. There's a story in the boxing world, uh, boxer Carl the Truth Williams. I don't know if you, you know who this guy is. Tyson fought him recently. He's afraid to fly, and his next fight is in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> so he's very confused, and he's, he thinks maybe he'll take a boat or something. But it takes three weeks to get to Japan by boat. That's real weird. See, first of all, if he's afraid to fly, I don't know why he got in the ring with Tyson that first time. <laughs> makes, makes sense, you know? Because <laughs> if you're afraid to be in the air long, an uppercut from Tyson is the last thing you want, you know? Because you'll be like, a uh, frequent flyer. <laughs> you're very scary. <laughs> What they should do is pay Tyson to knock him out again to throw him on a plane, you know? Because <laughs> Tyson jacked him up real bad the first time. I guess 
the next fight they'll bill him as Carl the Wuss Williams. So. <laughs> I hope the security here at Paramount is tight. <laughs> ah! Y'all want to hear the posse get busy with Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis? <laughs> Work me. Miss you much. That's their stuff. Yeah, glad you guys came by. We got a great show for you tonight. We got all kind of music for you. If you're into the heavy stuff, the hard stuff, Giants is here. Michelle Lee is... From the television world of the past, Mr. Mark Harmon is here. 